Will Olvida remember a lover from so long ago? Would I? Show me. The last house in Malden. Olvida should be here. Someone was interrupted preparing their supper. Taken or fled. A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister, at the behest of another. Behest? I've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Alvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will.
Show me what lies ahead. They will attack on sight here. Survey the area, Sunan. This key should unlock Alvida's cage. <laughs> this must be Beerston's love, Alvida. They haven't broken her spirit. Quiet. I'm here to free you. I cannot walk. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Then I will carry you. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elerich's? <laughs> Is he all right? The poor boy? there. Bless the saints! Rest now. Soon you'll be up and about again. Alfida! Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread? I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Alvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. You raised him alone. Where were your parents when he was a child? Dead of the plague that came when he was three months born. So to shun your door when you have a babe on your teeth. Now it's your turn. Why did you come for me? I am here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for... I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife Estrid returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the elder man... Oh, God, help me! 
I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He will come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he will ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly. As when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. Now that you're reunited, what will you do? Are we reunited? I must hear it from your lips, Alvida. It has been many summers, and I have aged ungracefully. I will hear your wound, Beerston. God help me, I have nothing to keep me in Molden. And this young lad is Elevich, Alvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness. I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Beerstan. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Beerstan. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elovrich, I would suggest the long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. I never stopped thinking of you, Alvida. I had forgotten his charm. Still so boyish and eager to make me happy. <laughs> Silly ours. She has not changed at all. Her soft features, her earthy strength. She will make a good wife. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal when I approach Estrid. That is your time. I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. They used to sacrifice John Barleycorn, so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain anew. I don't care for that pagan pomp. There is just one god now, and he gives us everything we need, in this life and the next.
they used to sacrifice John Barleycorn so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain in you. I don't care for that fear gun pump. There is just one god now and he gives us everything we need. In this life and the yeah. next. That where him lost his end of Lose is son of Fugo, is lose air. Lose is Eru, is lose son of Flashmaker. Lose is son of Flashmaker, is terrible. They used to sacrifice John Barleycorn so that his seed might fall on the fertile land and grow the grain anew. I don't care for that pagan pump. There is just one god now, and he gives us everything we need in this life and the next.
out of options, Haddock. We are safe enough to walk, I think. Aren't we? Oh, what a thrill! My heart is racing! Be glad it still beats at all. Your screaming drew half the guards in Colchester down upon us. I wanted to give a good performance. My father always said I was quite the actor. I won't deny your enthusiasm. Did you not have even a little fun? To steal away a princess. It did give a thrill. A woman fights bravely against her abductors. Yet, what will they do with me now? Is my virtue safe with you? It's not in danger, if that's what you mean. Come now, Eivor. You can stand against Alfred's brutes, but you shudder at a maiden's gentle teasing? Done. And all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rollo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. Alfred's soldiers will be looking for Estrid, even if beer stands will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead! Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thor's thunderous hammer! That I should find Piston. No doubt he's hunting again. Yes. <laughs> Our room's worthy of the trickster. I am proud of us. We did a good thing for Estrid and her lord. Maybe now we can all be happy. Yes. <laughs> Our room's worthy of the trickster. You know, made me feel young again. And I have you to thank. You believed me, though I was a coward. Won't make that mistake again. Yes. <laughs> a room's worthy of the trickster note. They're even stolen by us mere mortals. Must be blocked from the other side. Lies ahead, I wonder. A new life or an old life renewed? My old life, Francia. Mon Dieu, I feel as if I have been sleepwalking these past years, waiting for something to shake me awake. Did you dream while you sleepwalked? I did. 
I dreamed that all my fleeting happiness was a prelude to something bigger. Glimpses of greater joy, greater love. Lie with me, Eivor, under the stars of England. Give me a last bittersweet moment before I leave her shores. I'll be with you tonight, but tomorrow your new life must begin. I hope you will not look back. Shh. Still your lips, and come here. <laughs> 